commit money to support the military industrial complex and, you know, yeah, keep people safe. Basically, the whole idea of civilization. You have to scare people into it. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, they would just do what they fucking want to do without the government. Right. <coughs> I mean, okay. we don't need the church either. No, of course not. All right, so I'm going to just stir my stuff every once in a while. Make sure it's cooking up real good. So, when the asteroids would sometimes, like, come close to, you know, the planet or whatever, uh -huh. then... You know, occasionally it would hit the earth with enough force. Right. It'd be like a super Hiroshima. Mm-hmm. And it would kill off most of the, the animals and, like, all the people on the planet. Because exactly. it would create, like, a nuclear winter. Mm-hmm. Where, like, all the atmosphere, there's a lot of ash and shit. Yeah. And um, so, like, all of us would die off, and that happens. We go through this weird asteroid belt, right. like, every 3,500 years. Mm -hmm. But it's worse at some times than others, right? Right. And the man knows this because he is descended, and his knowledge is descended from the last time it fucking happened. So his people, his people has been in on it the whole time. Yes. And it's not even his people. He, the man is hired by these people to run his man racket. Mm -hmm. These people are not evil like the man. The man is a concept that these people came up with right. because they're descended. They knew about these things. Mm -hmm. They don't want it to get out. They want to be able to control the whole planet. Yeah. So that they can survive the next time. Yeah. And apparently they've survived several of these things, these catastrophes. Mm hmm And they preserve the knowledge and they tell just a few people because otherwise, um, I don't know why they won't tell everybody. I guess they have their own ideas. Well, I think it's all about, you know, knowledge power. is power. Right. So, Somewhere along the catastrophes, somebody stopped telling everybody and decided that, wait, we can, like, manipulate all these people yeah. by not telling them what the fuck is going to come up. Yeah. Right. If we keep the knowledge to ourselves, right. then we can control everything. Everything. So that's basically what they do. And the closer to this calamity we come, mm -hmm. the, you know, the more brazen they get. Right. So they start, like, not having reasons for doing shit. Mm hmm And, like, trying to, like, you know, gaslight America and stuff. Like, people are like, well... Plus, they bred us over these different calamities. They bred us to be a lot stupider. Yeah. Than and they've also we fucked with our education so that we don't know the truth. They don't tell us the truth. Oh, no. It's really just, it's really just, you know, that They tell whole, us lies. Yeah, it's, it goes back to the mother-child relationship, actually, because you tell your kids lies about certain things just b because it's better for you. For you. You know, and then your whole relationship is built on this early lie. But it's perpetuated, you know, because when you're an adult, you have a different point of view. That's all just culture. You think? Yeah. If people was just living in small communities of 300 people, mm -hmm. ruled by a central powerful woman. Right. Who controls everybody through sexual relations. Right. Just like monkeys. Mm-hmm. It would all be fine. People wouldn't have hang-ups about, you know, sex. They well, wouldn't have hang-ups about status. Somebody decided it was to their advantage to have all, all the that stuff. Shit. Yeah. So do you think that was a man or a woman who originally decided to, to keep the information from the masses? Oh, it was definitely a woman. Because men aren't certain enough to come up with that plan. <laughs> 
We all, I mean, they aren't evolved as much as us. Obviously, women bred uh, humans. Women decided to breed humans, mm -hmm. and they knew that men were a secondary part of what they needed. Mm -hmm. So they bred men into whatever they needed. No, it's fine. I think I'm irritating cameraman. No, no, no. It's fine. I'm just, I don't you feel just free. want to let it boil. I don't feel free to talk about our issues oh, around, uh, you know, mixed company. I think we should wait till we're in our session. You know, with the appropriate ritual like mm -hmm. shit, you know. So we so, can. Just to recap, I've done biscuits on the show before, but this is two cups of flour, um, a heaping teaspoon, tablespoon, sorry, heaping tablespoon of sugar, heaping tablespoon of baking powder, and slightly less than a tablespoon of salt, which has some weirdness in it. And, um, yeah. Then I'm gonna add to that about a cup of water, I mean not water, uh, milk. You can use cream or buttermilk, whatever. And uh, before I do that, I'm gonna cut in about, oh, six and a half tablespoons of butter. You give or take, you know, whatever, whatever works. But that's what I'm doing now, so that's just biscuits. You can continue with your male, female, I got sidetracked. Oh, sorry. Into the male-female dichotomy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's really easy for us to talk about that because we are male and female humans are. Right, right. But, you know, a lot of what nature is, it doesn't have a fucking sex. No, it's just, it exists. It's a random state. Yeah, like the wind doesn't have a sex. Right, so don't get all caught up in your masculinity or your feminine. That is only an attribute. Mm -hmm. Like, like... The color of your hair. Do you it's want this at all? No, I'm not keeping things. Oh, you've decided to discard things. I'm not keeping things. things. I'm, now, what I'm going to do is... What? I think I'm going to learn how to paint. Oh, that's a good idea. That would well, give you something to do. I want to take a class. Do. I just want to buy all the crap. You know. Right. I mean, I don't want anyone to tell me. Well, but me isn't that like doing. the same thing as getting stuff? Yes. Like, you said you weren't going to take anything home and get stuff right. now, but if you buy all the shit and you don't actually take the class and use it, then it just sits there. That's my biggest problem. Is like, I like to talk about things, mm -hmm. but I don't like, I don't want to like do them because that's like work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, but that that's how you get things done, is that you do them. And if you don't actually, like, do any work, you can't expect any rewards. Right, but... Unless you're rich already. I think that there are enough people on the planet that I should just be able to come up with the ideas for step. And then all the, like, slave people, mm -hmm. like the brown people, should have to do, like, act out my idea. Like, it's like a play, you know? I should just be like, I think people should have puffy velour outfits, you know? And then, like, maybe I'd just get people to, and like, And then you would just get people to... Some fucking puffy velour outfits. Make them and then just parade around in them for your benefit. It sounds like what the man no, does already. Them. I would, oh, you would sell, sell them. them. I don't really want to wear puffy velour outfits getting hot in here with all that stuff going on, that oven and everything else. I'm going to get me my milk. That food worth. looks a lot like your pants. What? Oh, the red? Yeah, because the strawberries. It looks like my outfit, too. You can use cream if you want richer biscuits, but, you know, I'm using what I got. I only had a certain amount of money to spend at the grocery store today, so I spent it wisely. So there's this big rumor in the interwebs about why there's such a big credit crunch right now uh -huh. and right, why the credit markets have frozen up. Right. And um, there's like a smattering of people. It's probably the man spreading mm -hmm. his words, spreading his evil poisonous ideas. Mm -hmm. That The reason is because... They're going to have these credit default swaps auctions because 